Lesson 31, flow chart and paragraph proof. Um, do you guys know the paragraph symbol from your English class? Yeah. Have you seen this before? It's, it means paragraph. Okay, that way we don't have to write that. <laughs> so a flow chart proof um, uses boxes and arrows to just show the flow of the proof um, or the structure of the proof. So you want to read it um, left to right and top to bottom. Okay, it's another form of the two column proof where you can do two steps simultaneously. So you know how some of those two column proofs they'll give you two sides are congruent and then two other sides are congruent mm -hmm. and then based on that you can do this and based on that you can do this. So then you just put it in boxes and have it flow. Um, the, the steps go inside the boxes and the justifications go outside like in the little bottom right corner. So we're just going to write a little definition here. Flow chart is a style of proof that uses boxes and arrows to show the structure of the proof. So we read we read it left to right, top to bottom. Let's see the steps go inside the box. and justifications um, below below box on right side. Sometimes if it's a really long justification like the converse of the corresponding angles theorem you can write it kind of under the whole box but generally we kind of scooch it over to the right side you can see um, in your book on example two, they show a flow chart proof, and this is what it looks like with the arrow. So from this particular step, you can go to the next step and continue to prove. And usually they come together at the end with the proof. Yes. <coughs> Sorry. That's okay. <laughs> Until, okay. Um, a paragraph proof, generally, um, kids don't like them just because there's a little bit more writing. But I think you guys are good because you do a lot of writing and you know how to write, so it's not, it shouldn't be that bad. It's just basically a paragraph. So you just write sentences and you write your proof in sentences. I think a lot like the test one, some of you did two column oh, yeah, on that I test did. one, some of them just wrote, you I just wrote paragraph. paragraphs. And um, that's what a paragraph proof. Um, so the, so paragraph proof, the statements and reasons are presented in paragraph form. Um, I just wanted to say really quick, if you look at example two, part of the proof is to draw a line through a point. And they show a dotted line going through point A. That's called um, an auxiliary line. And it's usually you can draw those just to aid in your proof, like if you need to draw a line to aid your proof. Okay, that's the end of the lesson. Yeah.